Whatever are you doing outside, my dear? You'll catch your death of cold. I've caught the only thing that matters, Barnabas. Your eye. I have withheld my tender affections, fearful that they were unrequited. I've not spoken of my feelings to another soul. Right. You've only spoken of my birthing hips. Yes. I don't know why, but for some reason, I feel like I can tell you anything. It's like I've known you forever. Yes. It's almost hypnotic. Yes. But wait, no. I have used no such trickery to summon your ardor. I assure you. I don't know what it is. I just know there's always been something pulling me here. Pulling me to Collinsport. To you. Victoria, hath my scent offended thee? No, no. Sorry, it's just... People I love haven't always loved me back. My own family sent me away. Swept me under the rug because it was easier than having a daughter who was different. Who was cursed. Cursed because I saw things other little girls didn't. They were the loneliest, most painful years a child could know. Now, hold still, Maggie. This will only hurt for a minute. <laughs> but as hard as they were, I never lost my will. The need to feel the sun on my face again. I set out in search of a new home, a new life far away from that pain. But even in my wildest dreams, I never thought I'd feel as happy as I do now. To betray one's own kin, and because she possesses a gift. No, Victoria, it is unforgivable. Your parents deserve to boil in hell's everlasting sulfur. my life, I've wanted a place where I belonged, a place where I could feel at home again, feel loved again. And I found that place here at Collinwood. And here.